Mm -hmm. Always a new perspective. What, uh, once you've watched it again, what, uh, what you think of, of it look any better the next go around? Yeah, there's some good things, some bad things. Obviously, uh, too many bad things in, in the game. Um, and what I've had three stars now, and every time I look over those games, I learn something different. And uh, after I go back and, and you know, trying to implement and try and work on what I did wrong in practice, I feel like I just become a better player. Um, you know, losing is not okay, but uh, the one thing I do gain from it is just improvement and uh, things to work on. So what did you learn from this one that you hadn't seen before? What's, what's new Yeah, so I just think um, fundamental things, and like my feet, um, you know, even when the pocket's breaking down, setting my feet, just being really smart with the ball, even under pressure. Um, and it's tough sometimes, you know what I mean? Guys are open downfield and you want to you be a hero sometimes. You can't do it. Just got to take care of the ball. And some other things as well. I'm not going to rant on about it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll go take the rant. <laughs> Coach, um, Coach Sheridan talked about on some of the screen passes, you know, some of them were in black, right? But he also talked about, you know, maybe you even leading guys and so forth. Is that something that uh, yeah. you're cognizant of or kind of working on? Yeah, absolutely. And in, in football, people really don't understand in the big games like that, it's this. It's this much. This is the difference in winning and losing the game. So it could be a throw in front, getting the extra yard, getting the first down, and we end up scoring on that drive. Maybe the ball's a little behind. We don't score on that drive. It's this. Uh, it's very minute when we play in these big games. So every detail matters. And like I said, I've learned a lot from this past game and um, had a good practice today. And we're very excited and motivated about this week. Coach Sheridan's kind of talked about like the dialogue that he maintains with all of his quarterbacks in terms of always maybe wanting to have a handle on what keeps them comfortable, what, what they like, you know, what concepts, what calls, whatever. Yeah. I mean, maybe as you think back to a couple of your starts last season, then having this off season, spending a lot of time as, as you know, kind of the number one. I mean, what do, where do you feel like you're different in terms of maybe maybe being able to recognize or communicate with Coach Sheridan, like this is what I like, or this is you know I can maybe do this now that I couldn't before, that kind of thing. Um, I feel like Mike and I are like very similar in the way we don't change um, like too much because of that. Maybe we change some play calls depending on who we're playing. Uh, it really, that really depends. But for me individually with Coach Sheridan, I just think uh, um, him and I have developed such a good relationship. He can just like say one word and say, hey, feet, like whatever it may be. And I just understand it, move on. You know what I mean? I understand that it's uh, coaching points in one word now. Uh, it's gotten to that point. Um, play calling wise, like I said, I, it really depends on the team we play. Um, I mean, all quarterbacks have their strengths, but, um, you know, I feel like we really set it to the team we play. Seems like you've been effective with the back shoulder stuff in particular. I mean, there's probably a couple of yeah. throws that you went back that were a little bit off, but a couple mm -hmm. you were able to make big plays that way. Yeah. Um, is, is that a throw you've always liked, basically? And is that something that, that you, I don't want to say build your, build your approach around, but basically is, uh, is that something that you're particularly confident in that throw? Um, I'll throw over the top. It really doesn't matter. I'm just mm. going to take what the defense is giving us, and they're mm. giving us a lot of the time. They want to mm. play over the top. We got to throw the ball back shoulder. Mm. Um, if they want to play behind, that's fine. I'm going to throw over the top. Mm. That really doesn't, you know. I will throw the back shoulder, and like it's, we were this close, mm. this close on a couple of those. It's a matter of just coming down with it, putting the ball a little lower. Um, mm. But yeah, um, it really doesn't matter. Like in that situation, what I like, uh, mm. it's fun ripping back shoulders. Heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I like ripping over the tops for touchdowns, too. Mm. Um, it really depends on what the defense is giving us in that moment. Your dad, being a former IU football player, is he kind of like a sounding board, and even in weeks like this, and I play a different position, but yeah. just as a guy that's kind of been in the arena and so forth, and what kind of resource or what kind of support does he give when you're coming off a game like this? Yeah, uh, my dad's great. I love my dad, uh, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, he definitely fires me up, you know, reminds me of, um, hey, it's a learning lesson. When you take a loss, it sucks. I, I hate losing. Everyone hates losing. Um, you know, but he reminds me, hey, you're going to learn a lot, and like I do, and we implement it in practice. I become a better player because of that. Um, you know, he does. Sometimes he gets on me. He's like, hey, here we go. Fires me up for the week, depending on who the opponent is. And, uh, yeah, he's just great. Does crazy. he get out here to games, or is he still in California? Or? Oh, he's at every game. <laughs> he's at every game, yeah. How can he get you fired up for Maryland when he never had to go to Maryland to play a Big Ten game? Huh? I said, how can he get you fired up for Maryland when he never had to go to Maryland to play a Big Ten game? Uh, well, whatever it is. <laughs> Let's go beat the Terrapins, whatever it is. I know you, don't, you, won't, you won't be personally facing this week, but I know you and Chris Olave are really, you know, played together yeah. or close. 
Um, just, I guess, how, how nice for you as one of his friends to see the success he's having and how well he's doing. And I guess how often do you guys communicate? That's my brother. I talk to him every week. Um, Even this week? Yeah. Well, <laughs> probably talk to him Sunday. Just gave me a text, man. Hope you're doing well. But, uh, yeah, that's my brother right there. That's my family. Uh, known him for a long time. Such a great kid. You know, everything he's gotten and uh, he's really worked hard for uh, and he really deserves. So I love him. I'm so proud of him. But it's Ohio State week, baby. So got to fire up and beat him. <laughs> on, the, on the flip side of you, know, you said every time you watch a film, you, you learn something more. Do you also watch film and see, see how you applied previous lessons? I yes. Guess, and, and, and if so, how? Like, well, what, what did you see when you watched this film that you yeah. said, hey, that's something I didn't do last time? What yeah. were some of those things? Um, you know, like last time, that in that regard, it'd be like the checks um, mm. in the previous seasons. Uh, you right. know, Wisconsin uh, and Ole Miss. You know, I didn't feel like I didn't get myself sometimes into the right play calls, or mm -hmm. um, maybe I'm climbing the pocket more and you know, getting the first down with my legs mm -hmm. or scrambling like some of the scrambling plays, uh, plays I have. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of them it'd be a little bit more accurate, but scrambling around making plays. But you know, I think the biggest lesson is just you know, over the past past starts and you know even this season with our room and offense is just taking care of the ball um, positive yardage um, getting out of the sticks the accuracy did you identify anything mechanical this week yeah doing yeah I did um, and I think maybe that maybe that's just it's, I wouldn't say first season start jitters I don't think so that's not really what it was it's probably just a bad habit um, and I've been grinding on it um, working on it and it's getting better so that's all I can really say about that. It's not so much jitters, though, but maybe it's just adrenaline, right? Just from, just maybe, from kind of being out there? Maybe it's a little adrenaline. Um, but when you get in those pressurized moments, you've got to be calm, take a deep breath, and just trust your mechanics. And um, Coach Sheridan always talks about uh, what you do in practice shows up in the game. And those some of those mechanics did show up in practice uh, throughout fall camp. Those little things, it could just be your feet being a little too crazy. Or, you know what I mean? Um, eyes. Um, looking at the ball instead of the receiver, uh, just a couple of little things like that um, that affect you in the game. So you got to just focus extremely hard and practice on it. What stands out about Ohio State on defense? Um, well, to be honest, we've played a lot of good teams this year. Um, but, you know, they play hard. They have a great defense. Um, nothing, you know, crazy, crazy, crazy. I think they're, they're going to throw at us. Um, they could. We'll adjust and make plays. Uh, but I, like I said before, we played what four top ten teams this year. A lot of these guys are just really good players. So we just got to make plays and keep on doing us. We played, we've moved the ball fine. We just got to finish. So. That's it. Jay, how was your uh, communication with the offensive line and such during the course of the game in regards mm -hmm. to checks and reads and blitzes and that? Yeah. Do you feel like that part of the game went pretty well for you or not? I think it was an improvement from uh, some of the previous starts for sure. Um, but there's more things I can get better at in that regard, um, especially when the game goes on and um, the pressure moments, you know, occur. Is the communication has to improve, and those pressure moments in the red zone um, to fit, be able to finish drives and um, pick up blitzes that maybe we can't see, corner cats, uh, guts, whatever it may be. So um, when you get to the end of the game and in pressure moments, I think that's where I can step it up even more. But it's it was better for sure. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Thanks Jack. Jack.